x1, x2 are roots of x square minus 3x plus a equals to 0 and x3, x4 are roots of x square minus 12x plus b equals to 0. If x1, x2, x3, x4 are in geometric progression, find the values of a and b. Okay, the question is from quadratic equations. He has given that, what is the first quadratic equation? He has given that x square minus 3x plus a equals to 0. Okay, for this one, he has given the roots are x1 and x2. Okay, x1 and x2. Then, if x1 and x2 are the roots, then what about the sum of the roots? equals to minus b by a that means minus 3 minus of minus 3 by 1 that means which is equals to 3 only and what is the product of the roots equals to c by a c is nothing but here a by what is the coefficient of x square is 1 simply which is equals to a okay right so what he has given another condition the another equation is x square minus 12x plus b equals to 0. So this is the thing he has given. And the roots for this quadratic equation is x3 and x4. If x3 and x4 are the roots, then what about the sum of the roots? x3 plus x4. Okay. Minus of x coefficient by x square coefficient minus of x coefficient is minus 12 that means plus 12 by and what is the x square coefficient 1 12 by 1 means 12 only then what about the product of the roots x3 into x4 the constant term by x square coefficient constant term is b by x square coefficient is 1 now it is we obtain it is as b okay so from the first statement we can write these two x1 plus x2 okay x1 plus x2 equals to 3 x1 x2 equals to a and from the next statement we can write it as x3 plus x4 equals to 12 and x3 x4 equals to b and what is another condition he has given x1 x2 x3 x4 or geometric progression x1 x2 x3 x4 these are in geometric progression so what is the geometric progression so the successive terms ratio is equal that means every term is multiplied with the same factor okay for example i am considering x1 equals to a okay then the common ratio i am considering x2 equals to the x1 is multiplied by r okay then x3 is again multiplied by r a r square and x4 is a r cube okay so now we can say that a a r a r square and a r cube are in geometric progression now let's these are the assumptions okay and these are the informations we retrieved from the given data now what to do okay so let consider what it is x1 plus x2 equals to 3 as equation 1 and x1 x2 as some equation 2 x3 plus x4 as equation 3 and x3 x4 as equation 4 what is asking is asking us to find a b okay to find a we need to know x1 and x2 and to find b we have to know x3 and x4 okay now we need to solve for x1 x2 x3 and x4 how to solve first we have x1 plus x2 and x3 plus x4 and we assumed the x1 as a x2 as a r x3 as a r square and x4 as a r cube now solve equation 1 and 2 okay by substituting the values of assumptions whatever x1 x2 x3 x4 the equation 1 will become we assumed x1 as a plus x2 as a r equals to 3. So we can write this is as if we take a as a common then 1 plus r equals to 3. 
okay this is a uh, one equation we are obtaining let consider this is a sum equation phi okay now then from equation 3 okay so the evo is obtained from equation 1 the next we are considering equation 3 from equation 3 x3 is whatever we have summed a r square and x4 we assumed as a r cube equals to 12 okay right now if we take a r square as a common then what we can write as 1 plus r which is equals to 12 okay so from this one r square into we can write this is as a into 1 plus r equals to 12 and what is a into 1 plus r from equation 5 which is 3 now we can write this is as r square into 3 equals to 12 which is from equation 5 okay now we simplify over here and what we'll obtain r square equals to okay 3 4 are okay we obtain it is as 4 that means and what is r r equals to plus r minus 2 okay r equals to plus r minus 2 so the two values of r obtained if r equals to consider the first condition if r equals to plus 2 okay if r equals to plus 2 we need to find out a okay why because we have to find x1 x2 x3 x4 we assumed x1 equals to a okay x2 equals to a into r like this okay so r is obtained but to find out the x1 x2 x3 x4 we have to know a value also now from equation if r is equals to 2 from equation 5 then what will obtain from equation 5 a into 1 plus r is nothing but 2 equals to 3 so that means what we'll obtain here a is equals to simply as 1 okay if r is equals to plus 2 we are obtaining a is equals to 1 and if r is equals to minus 2 okay again from equation 5 then what the equation 5 will become a into 1 minus 2 equals to 3 that means minus a equals to 3 okay 1 minus 2 means minus 1 minus a equals to 3 means a is equals to what it is minus 3 okay we obtained as a equals to minus 3 okay now here we obtained r and a if the k two cases what are the two cases we obtain so the case one having r is equals to 2 then a is equals to what we are obtaining 1 and what is the another case we are obtaining the second condition if r is equals to minus 2 we are obtaining a is equals to minus 3 okay a is equals to minus 3 now we'll find the x1 what the x1 is nothing but we assumed as a so x1 equals to 1 and x2 what about the x2 x2 equals to a into r that means 1 into 2 which is equals to 2 and x3 x3 equals to a into r square that means 1 into 2 square which is equals to what it is 4 and x4 a into r cube so 1 into 3 sorry 2 cube 1 into we obtain here it is as a r is equals to 2 1 into 2 cube which is equals to 8 okay which is equals to 8 now we obtain if r is equals to 2 and a is equals to 1 we obtain x1 as 1 x2 as 2 x3 as 4 and x x3 as 4 and x4 as 8 then we know that from equation 2 okay what is equation 2 equation 2 we are obtaining it is as x1 x2 equals to a okay x1 x2 equals to a so that means what is now the a value is x1 into x2 1 into 2 the a we are obtaining it is as 2 okay a we are obtaining here it is as 2 okay now from equation 4 what is equation 4 x3 into x4 equals to b okay x3 into x4 equals to b so that means we can write as b equals to 4 into 8 so we can write this is as 32 okay so if r is equals to 2 and a is equals to 1 we are obtaining a is equals to 2 and b is equals to 32 now go for the another case what is the case if r is equals to minus 2 and a is equals to 
minus 3 then what is x1 equals to a that is nothing but minus 3 and x2 equals to a into r which is equals to minus 3 into minus 2 which is equals to 6 and x3 equals to a into r square so minus 3 into minus 2 square okay 4 into minus 3 minus 12 okay now x4 equals to a into r cube so minus 3 into minus 2 whole cube okay minus minus into minus it will be plus and what it is 12 into minus 2 simply will obtain as a 24 so now again from equation 2 what is equation 2 a is equals to x1 x2 okay that implies now if we multiply what we obtain a equals to minus 3 into 6 we obtain it is as minus 18 okay minus 18 next from equation 4 b equals to x3 into x4 then what we obtain b over here minus 12 into 24 we obtain it is as some minus 2 it yet okay minus 2 it yet okay so we are obtaining a is equals to 2 r minus 18 b is equals to 32 r minus 2 it yet so this is the way of finding the solution so just observe here so from the given data we have write uh, written the given data and retrieve some information and we are going in the solving we are getting the required solution so what are the values we are obtaining here for a okay for a we are obtaining the values of a as s2 or minus 18 okay and what about b 32 or minus 2 it okay I think you understand this question how to solve these type of problems. Thank you.